Hello, beautiful people on the other side of the screen. You are tuned into Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, March 31st, 2023, and I am your host, Psalm One. I'm bringing back the word yearning, and I'm really yearning to get to the music today. But before we do that, I want to remind everybody that subscribing to the Audio Tree channel means you never miss out on these sweet video drops. So please make sure to do that. Also, Audio Tree is now um, available on streaming services, so make sure you follow the Audio Tree artist profile as well. Today, we have a mischievous LA tested band in studio to give us some magic. Uh, they are alternative bays, vintage bays, but that's a little limiting. They'll hit you over the head with some pop and grunge performances real quick. I hope you're ready for a good fucking night, y'all. And I know that it's the afternoon, but it's nighttime in here. Y'all ain't ready, but get ready for Night Fire.
Nico, Christian, Luke, and Noah performing as Nightfire. Uh, let's get into this name. James Bond game 007. Yeah. Am I right about this? That's yeah. right. Okay. Well, well, also yesterday we found out it's a porn site. I was going to ask about that as well. I, I, I wanted to get your ages first before I asked <laughs> uh, you about this uh, question. But tell me the name about the James the game, the game first. How did you come up with the name for the band? Uh, actually, it was... I guess the first time I ever met Noah, the drummer, um, was like third grade or something. And our parents like kind of just put us together because our older brothers are friends. And like he was playing. Go play video games. Yeah, go play vi ah. video games with the other younger brother. So I went into his room and we played Nightfire. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where we got it. Forced. We forced together. It's a good game. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Also, uh, can I get your ages, if you don't mind? Yeah, I'm 27. I'm also 27. 26. 24. Okay, so this next question is fine. I typed in <laughs> nightfire.com uh, into my internet browser earlier, <laughs> and I was unimpressed, actually. I was thinking I was going to hear y'all's tunes, but uh, how do y'all deal with your band's namesake being an adult entertainment website? Uh, we found out yesterday. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we, yeah, we, we had no idea. Found out. Um, it's kind of funny. We haven't had a lot of time to really think about what, how we feel about that. Mm -hmm. I yeah. feel good, I guess, about it. A lot of clicks. <laughs> I mean, any, you know. Yeah. Well, I actually couldn't get it on my phone. It wouldn't work. Oh, well, that's I kept good. trying to type because our manager sent it to us. Oh, did you know that Nightfire is this porn? <laughs> and um, I, I tried typing in it. It took me to this, like, camping gear site. He's got the child lock on. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. Yes, parental controls. That's good. But Luke got it. I got it, yeah. I got it too, Luke. Are you impressed? Uh, you know, it Luke. is what it is at this point. Yeah. Maybe we'll figure it out someday, but... Yeah, yeah no, I'd love to get that. <laughs> that's pretty easy, you I'd know? Rather, I'd rather have it for this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Any other um, hobbies that you all have other than looking up? Porn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Nico builds like stuff a lot. <laughs> Nico's I know there's a some, great photographer. Yeah, I know there's some photography going on. I've seen the toilet selfies on your TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are very nice. Thanks. thanks. Christian and I are both pretty into, like, music production and stuff like that. Okay. I mean, we all are, but yeah. So even in your spare time, it's more music? Yeah, pretty much all the time. Yeah, I can, I can relate to that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for all that wonderful information regarding your band name that has cleared up plenty of questions. And when you're ready, we'd love to hear some more music from y'all. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Do I see the name of it? You can. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do it. All frustrated. Ready?
Uptight, a great throwback single from Nightfire. I love that song, y'all, so thanks for playing it. Thanks. Y'all have been playing some new tunes in studio today, too. I hear a rumor you have a new EP coming out. Oh, yeah. Can you give me some more details on that? Yeah, we have an EP coming out next month. Or I think it's next month. Yeah, two months. Something oh, like that. Something soon. Next month or May. First single is already out. Don't yeah. like daisies. Yeah, we got two more singles that uh, we've already gone through. Okay. Yeah, the, the La La song and Frustrated. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, and it, it's called uh, it's called The Great, comma, Unwashed, the EP. Okay. Yeah. Can you give me the deeper meaning behind that? Yeah. Um, I just read, you know, that uh, Kitchen Confidential, the sure. Anthony Bourdain book? Absolutely. He's got this great, 
he's got this great quote in there where he talks about how all of the um, most successful restaurateurs were the ones who, you know, stuck to their guns, their original vision for their restaurants, <clears throat> and awaiting the, quote, great unwashed to learn to love it. Yes. Um, and I think, I don't know, I think we came up with the title around a time we were feeling particularly insecure about, you know, making anything. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a sentiment I think most musicians feel at one point yeah, totally. or another. Um, speaking of kitchens, y'all are on the road right now, and we were talking extensively about diners before going live. What makes a diner overrated mm -hmm. to y'all? And each one of you, please answer this. Okay. I'll, I'll go. Okay. First. <clears throat> There's a diner um, near where I live in Hollywood. It replaced this diner called the 101 Coffee Shop that was open till 5, and it had, like, pretty reasonable prices. Um, and then it went out of business because of COVID, which was a bummer. Um, and it had everything you needed from a diner, like, really great booths, just, like, huge menu, you know. Mm -hmm. And it got replaced by this diner called Clark Street Diner. Mm. And they used to be a bakery. They are still a bakery, and they make really good bread, and the breakfast is really good, but it's really expensive, and they close at 3 p.m., and it's yeah. like... I yeah, that's know. too bougie. That's, it was, it's overrated. Gotcha. Yeah, sometimes after a long night out, like, you're just getting up at three, so... Sure. It's kind of, kind of sucks when the diner is closed. Yeah. They're like, if you don't have a regular job, no breakfast for you. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's exactly, unfortunate. Yeah. Diners should be for everyone at all times. Right? That's okay? Every, everywhere should have all-day breakfast, honestly. I agree. Any other answers over here for an overrated uh, diner? I think my hot take is <laughs> every diner should be open 24-7. Just saying. Yeah. I think, uh, I think that, that's I'd a agree great... With that. Yeah, that's a good... I like that one. That'd be a good rule. So anything that's not is overrated. If you're up late rolling into the diner at, like, 4 a.m., it's, like, always a good time. Yeah, yeah you should be sure. able to get a plate for sure. Yeah, or spaghetti. Coffee. Yeah, absolutely. Spaghetti at 4 a.m. Yeah. Well, this if you're looking for... Spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti is amazing. <laughs> if you're looking for a good 24-hour diner here in Chicago, South Loop, White Palace Grill, Guy Fieri went there, but it's still good. South Loop, um, White Palace? White Palace Grill, Grill. yep. Okay, Thanks. cool. Thanks. Do you think Guy Fieri going to a restaurant <laughs> is good for it or bad for it, uh, I, I I think that if they can handle the capacity of tourists coming just based on that, because just like uh, Anthony Bourdain, rest in peace, if he, if he went to a restaurant, chances are it'll have, like, more, you know, more visitors. Mm -hmm. Same with this. If you go to White Palace Grill, you'll see a huge picture of Guy Fieri on the side of the building. So they're bragging about this. Yeah. This happened years and years and years ago, and that picture's still up on the building. So I think it's helping them, yeah. but I've seen, I've seen places where... It's always it, fun to walk into one of these places and see, like, Guy Fieri, like... Yeah, it's yeah, like I'm in like, Flavor oh, Town. We're, yeah, we're about to go to Flavor Town now, yeah. babe. Yeah, it's always it's always a nice visit to Flavor Town. Yeah, for sure. Um, speaking of visits, how many British bands have y'all been mistaken for? Um, a few times. Yeah, a, they, a lot. Yeah. Honestly, we a couple times on tour, people have told us we look like the Beatles, or <laughs> people have said, "Oh, I thought you were gonna have British accents. Like you guys look like you yeah. guys are British." Y'all should work on that. The accent, just fake British accents yeah. and see how far you can get with it. I don't mind that. I It's kind of flattering. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. British people and British bands. Most of the music we like is cool. British. Yeah. yeah. A lot of our favorite bands are British. Well, shouts to Across the Pond. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shouts out. So we got some new tunes, some more yeah. new new tunes that we've never heard before? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's get into it whenever you're ready. Thank you. Let me get my guitar out.
This next one's called Worth It. Long version.
Oh my goodness. All my clothes just got tighter, I promise. Oh my God, thank you. A very big thank you to Nightfire for blessing us today in studio. And as always, major love to everybody at Audio Tree spreading the gospel of live music. Nightfire is currently on tour in the US right now, so make sure you get tickets to see them if you find them in your area. Also, uh, make sure you look for their single, Dumb Like Daisies, that was just released last week. And Take a, take a gander at their EP when it comes out later on this year. Uh, Nightfire is one of my favorite new bands, so please make sure you get into them and support them any way you can. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we love you and we just want you to thrive. Also, make sure that you know that the session that you just heard is available to stream on Spotify, Bandcamp, and wherever you stream music. Finally, follow Audio Tree on social media for more fun content. My name is Psalm One, and I love talking to y'all. Till next time, stay dangerous. Peace. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?